Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the other set in the new Target Phil Taylor endorsed Power Series Darts and these are the black version. Let's check them out. Oh wait a minute, let's check them out. I forgot to do the shake. <laughs> I'm reviewing the 23 gram version. They're 80% tungsten. They're also in 21 gram in steel tip and 18 and 20 grams in soft tip and they retail for £54.95. So as usual it comes in this nice cardboard packaging. Lots of info on the back about the contents and Plenty of pictures of it as well. Inside there's a plastic tray underneath that you've got a, a bar wallet and they come fitted with the Swiss points and also provided with the Swiss point tool and the darts have got the Taylor Pro Grip stems with the lightning strike on and they come supplied with the Pro Ultra Taylor Signature Power Series number no. 6 standard flights. The darts are fitted with the black Swiss points and once again it's a straight barrel dart. Got a nice bull nose but it's a really nice variation on a, a ring grip style. And as you can see you've got these sections which are black tie coated but also hand sandblasted. So they have a kind of a, a matte kind of sandy feel to them. Um, obviously people will be more in smooth sections on darts but because it's got that sandblasted coating there it doesn't feel too bad at all there either but we'll have a close look just now and it's fitted with the Taylor Pro Grip stems with the lightning strike and the Taylor Signature number no. 6 standard power series flights if you look there it looks like an arrow and then you turn it and it's a lightning strike <laughs> and then it turns into a up arrow by the looks of it quite interesting right so as you can see very slight tapered bull nose and it's got the black tie cone with the hand sandblasted finish so you get a nice kind of a gritty matte feel but these bands are quite interesting They've got a kind of a mini shark grip on the, the first part, the face in the normal way, and on the rear, kind of in reverse, and in the middle, they've got a kind of a beveled ring, so interesting grip there, and they're interspaced by these kind of normal rings, but fairly deep square cut grooves in between, and that pattern continues until you get near the middle, and then you've got this fine ring, which may be a 10 sided ring. I haven't counted them, but it looks like it probably is. And then you've got what would be classed as a smooth section in the middle, but I think with the hand sandblasted cotton, you're getting a little bit of grip. And as you can see, got the power logo. And on the rear half, it just reverses the front again with those bands and really nice interesting style of grip that and nicely machined again and then a tapered section on the end those black bits there what you see it's just off the the box so some of the box seems to have stuck to it but that's the super close look at the power series black sp 80 percent That's fit with the black 26mm Swiss point, you've got a nice bull nose with the sandblasted finish, that's 3.1mm, then you've got this mix of wide silvery rings made of very fine shark style grip, interspersed with flat square cut rings and grooves with the sandblasted cotton, that's 19.7mm, and then you've got a mostly smooth section with the many sided rings and a kind of a slight scoop either side, that's 8.5mm, another section mirroring the front of 19.7mm, and then a kind of a flat ring and a taper on the end of 3mm, length is 54mm, width is 6.5mm. Twenty three point one nine grams, twenty three point two grams, and 
53.2 runs, so nearly perfect. Full setup, 24.68 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Not quite as grippy as uh, I was expecting it to be, but it's still a very nice feel and grip. But I'd probably say just slightly above medium, and maybe some people may find it a touch more grippy, but I'd say 5.5 at most. I think this uh, barrel is a little bit more uniform in the grip than what the silver version was and it hasn't got quite as much of like the sandblasted grip but I am getting a little bit of the effect from the couple of rings still got that like slightly dry feeling but I think overall the silver version definitely more grippy and I was a little bit surprised the feel of those silvery sections is not quite as grippy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it has, I would say, more like a, a kind of a flattish ring grip feel to it. I think these are actually flying a little bit better with my front grip than what the silver ones were though. Oh, treble one champion. Now with the middle grip, I'm gripping on the wide band, which has got the sandblasted cotton on. Uh, so definitely gripping from the middle with this dart is nowhere near as grippy as it was on the silver ones. If you like less grip, this is probably the one to go for. Still from the middle, that's where the sweet spot is from the for the balance. Um, you feel in those little, I don't know, ten-sided rings a little bit, and there's a kind of a slight lip on the uh, grooves. So there's a little bit of grip off that for the middle. Yep. Again, if you're a middle gripper, should be a nice one. So I don't think the fact that that wide band there is too much of a problem because it's not massively lower than the other part. So if you don't need a lot of grip anywhere, you should be fine. Going a bit high from the rear grip <laughs> and totally off target on that one. Uh, same feeling grip on the rear as it is at the front. It's just obviously it's a long dart, so <laughs> it releases nice and easy out the fingers though, but like I said, you still get a little bit of a dry feeling from the, the black sandblasted rings, but it's not as pronounced a feeling as it was on the section that was on the silver version of the power series. Going all over the place here. Oh, got a treble on the last one. I was determined to get that one in. <laughs> But if you like your long darts, it's a nice one again, but if you need more grip and you're a middle gripper, you're probably best off going with the silver version.
Oh well, he got two trebles in. <laughs> so there you go. That's the target fill tailor endorsed, not used by. Just messing about. <laughs> uh, the Power Series Black. Um, I think they actually flew just a little bit better with my front grip with this one than it did the silver but they are a little bit less grippy I was a little bit disappointed because I thought that would have been a little bit more grippy than it was it's still got like that slight dry feeling off the sandblasted parts but it's not quite wide enough on the front to get it and on the silver one you had a big wide section of it which felt really nice but for middle grippers you're still getting a little bit more of the sandblasted part but maybe ever so slightly less grippy than the rest of the dart with this one so if you need more grip you definitely want to go with the silver version for front middle and rear grippers that don't need a lot of grip it's still a very nice dart if you like a, a long barrel dart so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and i'll see you in the next one happy darting